Hi, this is Sean Bodley with Clear Technologies, and as the result of another joint project with the ITSO, I'm about to demonstrate the new feature in PowerHA version 7.2 of the Automatic Repository Replacement Facility. So first, let me give an overview of how you define a backup repository disk, and then I will give a demonstration of the auto swap feature. Uh, first, you've got to make sure that you have an additional disk defined. Uh, it should be at least big enough to uh, support the uh, repository disk, which is usually 512 meg minimum. A lot of people make a 1 gig uh, LUN for this. Uh, ideally, they should be the same size. Uh, the other thing to know is, just like with any other shared disks in your cluster, you got to make sure that it exists with the PVID. That way it will show up in the pick list, or you can also do it through CL Manager. Uh, I will show in the video how to do it through SMIT, just like the steps show here. Uh, but I will also add the notation of the CL Manager syntax to do the same thing. So you just go into uh, Smitty Sysmir, Cluster Nodes Networks, Manage, and Add a Repository Disk. It will do a discover to find any shared disks uh, with a PVID uh, that don't belong to a volume group as a valid choice uh, in the list. And we will see that I only have one to choose from. So you choose the disk uh, from the list and hit Enter. Now, this will do a couple different things. Is it will update the HAODM to know about the backup repository disk that's chosen. And it is actually tested every so often to make sure that the backup disk is actually functional. So if for any reason it died or was no longer available or disappeared, um, the CLConf D checks it, I believe it's once every minute. Uh, to see if it's valid. If it isn't, it will uh, report an error to you about it. Now, what it won't do is it doesn't actually lock the disk or prevent it to be used by anything else. So if someone decides to do a make VG right over the top of your backup repository disk, it will not prevent that from happening. Uh, however, that will make it fail the, the backup check test. So if it's a volume group member and that happens, it should actually be reported, but it does not prevent it. And you can have up to a maximum of six backup repository disks per CAA cluster. So after you choose the disk, hit enter, uh, you have to synchronize the config because it only updates the ODM locally. I will show that and the ODM class that um, it updates, you will see, uh, is the HACMP CIR call. So before I switch over to my cluster, I'll just give you another couple of quick reference links. Um, the PowerHA Wiki has a lot of information on it, a lot of links to these demos, a lot of red books, uh, white papers, uh, some, some technical um, guides, some updates, announcement letters, and stuff like that. So that's a uh, pretty good uh, first source of information that will lead you to a lot of these other places. Like you're probably watching this on my YouTube channel already, but there's a link to it. I'm also known as a Power HA guy on Twitter. So now let me pull up my cluster nodes. I have a, a simple two node cluster. So let me pull up both nodes, uh, DB2 and web. Now, in my case, DB2's primary web's the backup. For this demonstration, it really doesn't matter uh, which one is which. So this is just showing that my, my cluster is stable. I will show you that here is my current uh, repository disk, ends in 134. I'm going to define this other disk as my backup repository. Now there's nothing here right now that tells me that it is or isn't a backup repository. You won't see anything different here, but 
if I look at the ODM class, and there's also this uh, great command through CL Manager that shows you uh, better format information, I will show you that as well. It shows repository and there is no backup assigned. So um, if I look at this is this great report view. It really just streamlines the information out of uh, the ODM and tells you that it's it's active and then it's relative to this particular node. So I'm going to go ahead and add the disk as a backup. So I'm going to do add a repository disk. I do an F4 to get my listing. HDisk1 is the only one available. And as a reminder, it tells you these great little CL Manager commands you can use to view this information. So now if I run it again, you will see it's now showing as a backup. Uh, that is in the HACMP CER call as I showed before. But if I look on the other node, it doesn't know anything about it. And that makes perfect sense because anytime you change uh, most parts of the cluster, it's only saved locally. So I still need to uh, synchronize the cluster. So this will take just a minute. And I'm pausing the video every few seconds just to uh, make this speed along so you don't have to watch so much of the sync time. And while this is, com well now it's already finished, but I can see that my cluster is still stable. And now if I check the information on the second node, I will see that I have a backup disk defined. And there it is. So now what I'm going to do is these happen to be vSCSI disks, so I'm going to remove the mapping from the VIO server to make that disk disappear. If it was an NPIV disk, um, usually you could um, either change the zoning, that might be um, a little drastic. Um, it depends on what your preference is. You could also just unmap the LUN uh, from the host definitions on the storage side. Uh, so either one of those just to make it uh, disappear. So my two disks that are the two repository disks on my VIO, one is HDisk 15, one's HDisk 3. So I'm going to remove HDisk 15 and when I do you can see in the syslog.caa that it's actually running. It has detected the failure already and is performing the swap. And if I look over on the other node while that's still going on, I can see that CAA VG private has already moved uh, to the other disk. So this is finishing. Uh, return code to zero is always good. And it's saying that it's changing H disk two to the down state. So even though it does this swap, uh, you will see that it will make the other disk and the ODM as the backup. However, it does know that that backup is not currently functional. So I will turn around and add this back on both nodes. So now it's back again, and if I wait a minute, I should see that it's no longer um, going to be in the down state. It will detect that that disk is now available and viable. There we go. It's now changed it up to the up, and I didn't even have to pause the video that time. The timing just worked out uh, well. But you can see exactly one minute from the time that it reported down, it checked it again and said that it's up. So it knows that it can be used uh, for a swap again. Now having said that, I'll swap it again. 
I'll leave the uh, the syslog up and I will remove the other disk which is hdisk3 on my VIO I'll get that out of the way now you can see that it's it's reporting you can see it says none and now it says active so it's reporting and showing very quickly that it's made the swap uh, but we'll also see that um, even though this completed with a return code of zero it will mark that disk as down again um, now let's see if I can actually catch it in time to prevent it Um, oh, it says it does know the primary's been replaced. So, um, timing wise, I don't think it really made a difference, but get out of that. And in a nutshell, that's it. So, it happens automatically as long as you have one defined. Remember, there's a six maximum. Uh, make sure it's the right size, but also be aware that even though it's marked as a backup, it does not prevent it from being used for other things, uh, but it will report that um, the H disk is no longer viable or down. Uh, down if it's not uh, accessible, uh, otherwise it's not viable if it has a uh, volume group on it. So that will actually conclude this demonstration. And like usual, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Um, it's on the first slide of this uh, video. It's sbodily at cleartechnologies.net. And also feel free to leave comments, good, bad, indifferent, uh, to the video below. And as always, thanks for watching.